think this is Trump's weak spot. He's actually taken time out from his campaign to get angry at the suggestion that he might be a golf cheat. Nothing else. You can call him a liar, he doesn't care. Say what you want, he doesn't care. But this might just be the thing that gets under his skin. So tonight, I'd like to send a message to Donald Trump, and I'm going to do it as the only person he's admitted he'll actually listen to himself. <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump! Donald Trump, you are such a golf cheat. You cheat so much that when people play golf with you, they say, oh, Mr. Trump, please stop cheating so much. You're giving me a headache. <laughs> Being a golf cheat is the worst thing you can be. On the list of golf cheats and things that are bad, it says arms dealer, drug baron, golf cheat, jihadi. <laughs> That's true, Donald Trump. You're worse than ISIS. You're worse than ISIS. <laughs> Right now in Syria, there's a member of Daesh impaling a head on a spike saying, at least I'm not a golf cheat. <laughs> Even Hitler didn't lie about how many shots he took in the bunker. <laughs> it's true, it's true, it's true. It's true, it's true. You cheat so much, Donald Trump, you even cheated with Samuel L. Jackson and then you said you never met him. You're the only white man on earth who denies hanging out with Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> and that's a man who knows how to deal with snakes. Especially on a plane. Grr, snake, right? Snake, grr, grr. You're a cheat, Donald Trump. You're the commander in cheat. If you become president, your anthem will be hail to the cheat. Now, I got a challenge for you, Donald Trump. I got a, ch I got a challenge. I got a challenge. I got a challenge. I know you're listening, because I'm you. Here's my challenge, Donald Trump. Either admit you're a golf cheat or get out of the race. I mean it. Forget the golf war. This is the golf war. And I'm giving you an extra strategy. Admit you're a cheat or drop out of the race, Donald Trump. Because when it comes to the presidency, if you can't count the shots, you're not allowed to call the shots. God bless me. God bless me again. Thank you very much. See how you, see how you get on. Go out there, try and find another job which helps with the restrictions that you've got, giving you incapacity, and do that. And at the end of a few months, after you've struggled, let's see how motivated you feel and how fit to go to fucking work you are. <laughs>